So sound travels a foot in one millisecond. If I go another factor of a thousand, I'm at a microsecond. Another factor of a thousand is at a nanosecond. That's how long it takes light to travel a foot. If I go no, another factor of a thousand, I'm at a picosecond. And another factor of a thousand is a femtosecond. So the first steps in the chemical reactions that happen in your blood with the heme group moving oxygen around or photoabsorption in light harvesting in the plants in your garden or even the formation of plaques in your blood that give you diabetes or degenerative diseases. The first steps in all of these happen on the femtosecond time scale. The field of ultra-fast science has been used in chemistry for probably 10, 20 years now, and it's delivered much of the fundamental understanding of how light interacts with molecules. And so the idea is now we can make these molecular movies because we have now x-rays that can probe the molecules at exactly that natural time frame of the reactions. Now that we have x-rays to see at the scale of molecules, and we have the time frame with femtoseconds that are on the scale of how fast these molecules move, how they change their shape. We can start to look at why nature made the molecules the shapes that she did. And so that's where I think science has finally gotten us to this level, where we can look at the time frame of the individual molecules during a reaction 